Not too long ago, Angus over at Maker's Muse gave us a Fusion 360 tutorial on how to use the sweep function to create your own candy canes. And in the comments, I did threaten him that this was going to be MakerCoin 2.0. He got scared and I just went ahead and did it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how. I'm Joel and this is 3D Printing Nerd. Yeah, I did, I did do it. Look at that, that's my Maker Coin, and that is a candy cane maker coin, you can tell, because as you look at the swirls, they go around and they go around and they go around. Look at that. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I did it on my Prusa multi-material machine, just using two of the four extruders, uh, and I think I'm gonna show you how to do it. Follow me to the computer where I show you now my maker coin, and it's all cut up. You can kind of see how it's in these sections, and if I, turn off one of the bodies, you can see that it's, well, it's cut up. That was one of the colors and the other bodies are the other colors. So I think you should create one of your own. And in order to do that, we just need to start a new document. Or new design, I guess it is. And this new design, uh, I think we're gonna go here and we wanna import our original maker coin. It's not gonna let us do it though because we need to save it first. So let's save it and let's call it Maker coin 2.0. How about that? <laughs> there we go. It's now saved, and now I can insert my old Maker coin into the current drawing. And of course, I and others showed you how to do Maker coins in Fusion 360, so you should have them available and you should be able to follow along or do it yourself. All right, so way back when I did this, I didn't know about proper orientations and XYZ planes and which one to use and how Z was up. So I'm gonna rotate mine 90 degrees. And I'm gonna hit okay. And there is my maker coin. Looks pretty good. So in order to do this, all we need to do is draw two very specific lines and it's pretty easy to do. The first line is going to be one here and the second one will be one up this way. Uh, I do know that with the sweep, you can't sweep past this middle red line. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna hit M for move, and then I'm going to move it until it is beyond this red line, and now I can hit OK. There we go. All right, now let's first draw a line. So I wanna hit L for line, I'm gonna capture the position, And then I wanna draw on this plane right here. I'm gonna go across from 50 all the way out to this 50. And I'm gonna hit escape. Make sure it's, it's got the right angle marks and make sure it's a straight line. Okay, so we've got that line right there. That's gonna be the thing that we sweep with. Now what we need to do is draw the line that's going to be the pathway for it to sweep. So let's hit L for line. I'm gonna choose this plane, and I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna go all the way up. And notice it's got the right angle marks, it does say 90 degrees, and I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna hit escape. So now we have two lines. We've got this one that goes this way, and we've got the one that goes up that way. Well, I know what Angus did is, uh, in his video he chose this line, and he held shift, and then he hit that line, and then he did a midpoint constraint just to make sure that was on the middle. Uh, you can do that as well if you want. Uh, no big, if you don't, I don't think. I mean, I am not the expert here, obviously. Now we need to move into the patch workspace like Angus said. So from model, I'm gonna go patch. Now I'm gonna go create, sweep. The profile that I wanna sweep is this line. And the important thing is in the patch workspace, you're able to sweep a line, whereas in the model workspace, you cannot. I believe Angus went over that. The path is going to be this line, and we are going to create a new body. And you can tell that it's just going right through that maker coin, but what we wanna do, we wanna kinda cut it up a little bit. So the twist angle, we can change that to 720. I know that's what Angus did on his candy cane, and it looked good. 720 seems to be pretty good for me as well. I mean, you could go like 2,500 and really get some, some spaces in there. But for my maker coin, 720, and then hit okay. And 
now we've got that, that swirly sweep going through the maker coin. Let's go back to the model workspace and we're gonna go, I believe it's modify and split body. So the body to split is the coin, but it won't let us select it. So here's what you need to do. See this little chain link right here? That means that it's, it's linked back to a design. So hit the right mouse button. Let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to break the link. There it is, break the link. I knew I could find it. So now this maker coin itself becomes uh, an object within this drawing and it's not linked back to the old one, which is fine. And we can tell there's the body right there of the maker coin. So now when you go modify split body, it says body to split, you can pick the maker coin, which is body four in this example. The splitting tool is going to be right up here and it's this body. Uh, you can hit extend, I don't know, it looks like it creates a knife edge. I don't know exactly what that does, but I'm gonna hit okay. Fusion 360 takes a little bit of time and then you go over here and this body, you hit the light bulb and you're left with a maker coin that has all of these different shapes. So what you need to do at this point is go up to make 3D print. And you can either pick this body or you can pick this body. Oh, come on Fusion, there we go. Or you can pick that body. And then what you do is you save it out. You don't need to send it to a 3D print utility. You save out two STLs, one for each of the bodies you created. And you're gonna have yourself that little candy coin, candy coin, candy cane, Candy cane maker coin. I was combining cane and corn and coin. Candy corn cane corn cane maker coin. There we go. That's how you use Angus's tutorial for creating a candy cane, but instead applying it to a maker coin to make a candy cane maker coin. It's not candy cane colors on this maker coin, but I could use candy cane colors on this maker coin if I wanted to. I like this. I like this a lot. I think this is interesting and I'm very thankful for Angus to show me this really cool function within Fusion 360. I find that I learn a lot about Fusion 360 through Angus. And so if you have the chance, go over to the Makers Muse channel, subscribe and watch all these cool tutorial videos that Angus has. Uh, for now though, I really like being able to use this sweep function. And I really like being able to create my own multi-part models for multi-material printers such as the Prusa machine or the Palette Plus that I have on my GMAX. Cool. All right, well, there we go. Don't forget to subscribe if you get the chance and, and to ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. And a big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon, YouTube Red, or if you let the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. And as always, MakerCoin 2.0 and high five.